here's how you reverse your footage playback in Premiere Pro. Then at the very end, I'll show you some sneaky ways that you can use it for success. To reverse your video, just highlight the clip that you want to reverse, then right click and select speed duration or hit Control or Command R. This box will pop up and then you can hit the checkbox for reverse speed. Hit OK and now you've got a clip that's playing in reverse. Now if you just wanted to play your timeline backwards, hitting J on your keyboard will move your timeline playhead in reverse. But now that you know how to reverse your footage, what are some reasons that you'd actually want to use it? Well you probably have at least one because you searched for this video, but here's a few other ones you can keep in your back pocket. You can create a boomerang style effect by duplicating your footage by holding Alt or Option and dragging it right beside the original. Now when you reverse the speed of your second clip, you get a perfect start and end frame match. And if you copy these two and paste them back to back, you've got a perfect loop going on for as long as you want. Next, you can use it to nail the perfect shot. Let's say that you have a shallow depth of field shot where you want to rack focus or you want it to push in. You can actually start at the place where you want to end, the most difficult place to get to. Then you can do the motion in reverse and then in editing, reverse the clip in Premiere Pro making it look like you just achieved the perfect camera motion. And I even came across this final example today where some guy was showcasing his incredible hydraulic car drink dispenser, except that doesn't actually exist. He just played his video in reverse. A simple testament that just reversing your video can sometimes get you a disgusting amount of views on social media. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and check out this video for even more Premiere Pro tips.